you doing? Nick from Beergineers here and in this video I will be reviewing Dayers Saturated in Motoreca. So it's a single hop double IPA coming in at 8% and as it says in big bold letters on the can uh, it's brewed only with Motoreca hops. So I've never had a pure Motoreca hop beer. I haven't researched Motoreca so I don't know what to expect. I'm excited. Um, this cost me it was over six pound or six pound fifty from the day of website. Oh, it smells beautiful already. Let me just crack the top. So it's expensive, but you get these big five hundred ml cans from Daya, and it's you rarely, if ever, get a bad beer from Daya. To be honest with you. So let's get it into the glass. See what we got. So we've got nearly one finger of compact white head. It's a fruit juicy looking beer, so it looks like OJ. Very opaque. Um, is it brewed with oats? It's got to be, looking at that. Yeah. Um, so hazy for days. Looks amazing. I'm getting whiffs of it already. I haven't even got, put my nose to it yet. Uh, so it looks just like a glass of orange juice, to be honest. Completely opaque, no light getting through that. Um, looks the business. Let's go for the nose. Oh. So that is massively stone fruit, peach, bit of passion fruit, bit of tropical underneath it as well, bit of mango, bit of guava, not much citrus. Not much dank. Smells absolutely beautiful. Let's dive in. Chin chin. Oh. That's fantastic. In terms of the um the the body is the body's light bordering on medium. Carbonation. Is light with a little bit of zing, a little bit of tingle on the tongue. Just about right. The eight percent, completely well hidden. You'd never know you're drinking eight percenter. Um, so up front, there's the peach, the stone fruit, the um, little bit of plum, maybe some more of that, a little bit of apricot. Um, Behind that is a bit of mango, a bit of papaya, a bit of passion fruit. And then it fades to a very, very subtle bit of back end. Very subtle. I mean, I've, regular viewers of the channel know that I've, I've just sm I've been smashing these sort of beers for, for years. So I think I'm pretty sort of immune to the sort of um, the hot bitterness now. Um, so I don't think that's the the back end is it, it's very gentle um, to me anyway, perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. It's boring saying it to be honest, but every time you get a day, you know what you're gonna get. There's no dank. No, the the, the back end it's dankness. Uh, sorry, it's bitterness. There's there's. Very little dank, no dank at all, no discernible dank. It's just stone, say just, it's bloody amazing. It's stone fruits, tropical, fading to a pleasant bitter back end. I've left it a bit now. Is there a little bit of alcohol going down there? I think there might be, if you leave it long enough. It's bloody beautiful. Mm. So, Ig, the Ig man in Nottingham sent me uh, a WhatsApp with a picture of him uh, enjoying this last week. Uh, it didn't give me any, any sort of narrative behind it, what it was like, but I assume it must have been good. I think, you know, picture says a thousand words, which I think it did. Uh, yeah, and it, it gets boring saying it, but Daya smashed it again. You know what you're going to get. Okay, they put the pr the prices of the dippers up um, a pound um, since the, just before the, the, the new duty regime, but, you know, got to make a dollar, I suppose. It's amazing. It's
Okay, there's no dank, but I'm still going to give it 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for Saturated in Motto Eka. It's up there with the rest of the Saturated in series from Deo, so Saturated in Citra, Saturated in Strata. Absolutely amazing beers. This is up there for me. Let me know if you've had it. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Comment in the box, let me know what you think. Thanks, bye for now.